Hey YouTube, it's Tortuck here in our video, and in this video, video I'll be doing a review on What's the Cavalier Season 1 Episode 3, so there's only 6 episodes, oh no, there's 8 episodes of it, I don't know, um, so yeah, this episode was pretty good, I'd say it's a step up from the last episode, definitely, um, is it just me, or, like, I'm pretty sure every single villain so far has been bald, and the main villain in this one was bald. And I wonder what happened to the, the girl in the end because her dad died. I guess she has, um, I guess she had the mother there, but, like, we never knew anything about her. She never even spoke. Um, and, yeah, I wonder what she was doing on that train because her mom was, like, putting her on the train there. So I wonder what she was doing there. And then once her dad died, it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, we all just forgot about him. I, I did, like, um, how, what's his name? Standish, I don't remember his first name, but I did like how he's wanting a gun and stuff, and he uh, finally gets a gun, but it's like a small gun, I don't know, I don't know how he got that gun, it's just like a tiny bullet, and he tried to shoot the bad guy, but he shot um, one of his own dudes on his side, and I thought the episode was going to mainly focus on him, but it didn't really, like out of those five characters, um, there's lots of disagreements. The only guy that didn't really have any disagreements was Standish in the end. And I also liked when the the dude to, like gives everyone the guns. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay back." And I think his name is Ray. Uh, he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna stay back and stuff." And then Standish is like, "You know what? I'm gonna stay back too because I think I know a way to help." Um, like if he's like a person that goes on the front lines and stuff, he's trying to act like a hero, which is kind of funny. Um. And yeah, the episode was really good. I don't know if it's... I wouldn't say it's better than the first episode, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Frankie, we meet a person from her past. Which she reveals she used to be assassin with a guy named Marco or something. Um, I actually, I don't think he, the, his, the dude who's in, she was an assassin with is Marco, but she, she was an assassin with another guy, and she kills the guy eventually. And, uh, there was, like, a whole terrorist plot to, like, blow up a bunch of people, because, you know, why not? It's just for no reason, just to blow up people. What I didn't like, though, was the, um, the simulation at the beginning with those guys with the masks. I didn't like that. But it did set up the whole idea where, uh, them, like, having arguments between the group and stuff, and having disagreements. It did set that up with, uh, Frankie not caring if Stanish died or anything. Well, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe, like, for more, and bye, so.